Good morning, welcome back to The Broken Farm. My name is BJ and today is, what day is it today? Sunday. It is Sunday, June 12th, I think. Um, and it has been over a week since I've done any videoing. We've had a really busy week. So let me get you caught up on what has happened in the last week. We have some unexpected <laughs> turn of events here. Um, let me start with just what's what's been taking up all of our time. So this past week, both girls had some events at school that basically made it so I played taxi all week. Um, Natalie was taking an ACT prep class at the sc high school and one of the deals of us moving out here to the farm because it was far away from where we were living was um, when we moved here, we told the girls that they would not have to change high schools because Bailey was starting as a freshman, Natalie was a junior, and we didn't want to have to make them switch in the middle because they were because Natalie was already switching in the middle of high school. And so we told them that whatever high school we enrolled them in, they would be able to have the option to stay there until they graduated. So one of the downfalls of that is that the farm is an hour away from their high school. But thankfully, we're able to keep them in that school but that means anytime they have to go to school and any events, that's where they have to go. So Natalie's HCT class was every morning from 10 to 12. So I had to shuttle her over there every morning and then hang out in the area for two hours and then pick her up and bring her back. And then two of those days, while Natalie had class in the morning, Bailey had softball tryouts in the evenings or afternoon, late afternoon evening. So. Two of those days, I was actually making two round trip trips to and from their high school, one in the morning and one in the evening. So basically that sucked up those entire two days. Um, so that's one of the things that kept us busy this week. Um, the other thing, well, I'm, I'm skipping the major other thing for just a second. Um, one of the other things that happened that was unexpected was our son, Jack, um, you, and in the last video you saw Christian who came up to visit us, but our other son, Jack, who lives in Georgia still, he actually came down with appendicitis. And so on, let's see, Wednesday and Thursday, he was kind of suffering through that and we kind of thought he was just constipated. Um, and then on Thursday, when he finally went to the ER, they said that it was appendicitis and he was gonna have to have surgery. So Sean and I left, we drove down there. Um, I think we drove down there very early Friday morning. I think we left here at 2 a.m. and were there for his surgery on Friday. And then we literally drove back, kind of we drove halfway Friday night and then we came back here Saturday morning. And then Natalie had to take her ACT test on Saturday morning. So again, I had to get up real early and drive her one hour away to take her test and then bring her back. So that's like part of what's been keeping us busy all week. And let me tell you what else. And the this other thing that has kept us busy is totally our choice. It was an impulse thing. We had planned on doing this um, ever since we got on the farm, but it was kind of one of those things we were going to wait until we were ready and... I told Sean, we're never going to be ready. So let me turn this camera around and show you the things that have kept us occupied this week. That is Harley and that is Maverick. And they are the sweetest, sweetest Great Pyrenees puppies. <laughs> Harley's trying to play with, they, they're taking a nap, but I gave them an ice cube, um, like a brick that we had kind of made for them. <laughs> They're just, they're so, so sweet. They're about 10 weeks old. We got them on Sunday. And like I said, it was not planned at all. We really did not plan on getting puppies right now. But when we saw these two, we really could not pass them up. So they have just been so, so good. They are, they've been living here on the porch. They are gonna be outside dogs. Um, Great Pyrenees are really made to live outside and they prefer to live outside. And these two have been, for the most part, living here on our porch. They're um, litter mates. So she, Harley is the white one and she is um, the big sister. And Maverick here was the runt of the litter. So he's a little bit smaller than her, but not by much. 
and they are just the cutest, cutest puppies. They're a little, <laughs> they're a little bit dirty right now. Uh, not as dirty as they have been because one of the things that they love to do is they love to play in their water bowl. So you can kind of see their big water bowl and the puddle that it's creating because their favorite thing is to go in there when we fill it up and they splash around until they get all the water out and they just do it with their front paws. So we're gonna, we're going to um, probably get them like a baby pool of some kind so that they can play in that. Oh, Harley, she just saw Bailey put her ice cube in, in the ice tray. So she's getting up to go and see what she put in there. So that's Maverick and then his big sister, Harley. And we have really enjoyed having them here on the farm. So Bailey right now, she's gotten started. She's cleaning off these mud dauber nests that we knocked them down, but the remnants of them were still up there. Um, so that's one of her jobs today. And then um, we have been working, one of the things that Sean's been working on is working on, um, we picked up our igloo that, actually this was for our other dogs um, that we had before, and we got it back from the friend that had it because their dog was not using it. So that's what Sean's been working on. <laughs> for a couple of the days. One of the days was literally going and picking it up because the um, tractor supply near us didn't have it. So we had to go um, like an hour away. It seems like everything's an hour away. We had to go an hour away to pick it up. And he's been, he spent a, a day or so putting it together. Uh-huh. <laughs> I've about an hour into it so far. An hour into the whole thing? Yeah. No. Yes, I no. Did. And the reason why is because he was trying to level out this area right here because this is where this is where we were going to put it. Um, we were going to put it right here. And so he wanted to level out the ground. And as part of leveling out the ground, there was a little bit of a water leak that kind of sprung up. He also used the tractor to level out this sidewalk because it was sloped down, um, down, uh, let's see, this way. And so he used the tractor to level it out and then dig this area up because he was trying to get all the roots out. And so now we've kind of decided he's gonna flatten this back out. I think we decided we're gonna leave it here because it's very level right here already. And we're really not sure how much we're gonna use it. The goal of getting this for the dogs is not to have them in it all the time. In fact, the only time we're gonna put them in that is when we all leave the house because right now, like I said, they're, they've been roaming free. They've, for the most part, been staying on the porch, but they do venture off and they go up in here. They like to go play in here and dig. Um, Harley is a digger. She, like you can kind of see a little hole that she's dug right there, but they go around here. They venture down to that shed there. They like to lay in the grass over there, but they pretty much just stay around the front porch, which is what we want them to do. And, so we don't really need them. We, we, don't, we don't plan to lock them up except for because right now they're puppies and we still want to train them to stay here and not wander away. So, so far we haven't had to use this at all because whenever any one of us has left, there's been somebody here at home. So that's, this is only for if all four of us leave and we want to um, secure them up so they can't roam around. So we will put that dog, that igloo there in here and um, they'll have a place to hang out if we have to leave. So, and, and that's gonna double because it's actually a poultry pen. It's gonna double as a poultry house for my chickens when I get my chickens. So let me take you inside and show you one of the other things that Sean did this week. All right, so we're coming in the kitchen and I have a couple things going right now. Right here in my roaster, I have some chicken broth that I'm cooking. Um, it's been cooking for, I started it yesterday. So I'm gonna let it cook for 24 hours um, and then I'm gonna can up that broth. So I'm getting, I'm getting a little bit more comfortable with my canners 
I have my electric canner going right now and I have four quarts of chicken meat in there from those chickens. Um, and I also, okay, so this is, this is one of the other things that Sean did for me is, let me turn on the light so you can see. So this is that little closet in the hallway and he put in shelves in my closet. So this is kind of like my upstairs pantry and he put in these shelves for me. So he's been busy working in there. And here's one of the other things that I did. I canned, um, what is this? I think it's, well, I can't remember how many, I think it's eight pints. Yeah, eight pints of chicken meat. Um, and these are pints and then I wanted to do the rest of the meat and so I did them in quarts. So I got those got going there. Um, and I'm really excited to have the shelves in here that I can put all of my pantry items and a few of my appliances down there. And I've got a couple extra of the buckets and that is a mouse trap because um, one of the boxes that I was storing in here when I unpacked it yesterday, it just had Tupperware and, you know, um, uh, what am I trying to say? Um, you know, the Tupperware, I guess. Um, when I unpacked the box, there was a little nest in there. So we're going to see. And then, I mean, you live on the farm, you're going to have mice and rodents. Um, but it freed up a little space here. I was able to take out my um, Pyrex type or my glass. Um, why can't I think of the words? The glass containers, I guess. Um, and I have a few more things that I need to unpack there. But I was able to kind of space out things there and not have um, that stuff in boxes. So I think that is the gist of what we've gotten done this week. Like I said, the dogs have been keeping us a little bit occupied. This is one puppy that is not happy with the new additions. She does not like them. And it's kind of ironic because she likes all animals. She loves every dog she's ever met, loves all people, but those two puppies out there, she does not like. She, she knows they're here to stay and she's a little bit jealous, but she's the inside puppy still and they're gonna live outside so they'll have to learn to coexist and they can protect her whenever she goes outside. So she's um, not liking them, but she's gonna have to deal with it. She likes to climb up on the chair over here and bark out at them on the window because you can see them out there. But Anyways, um, we're going to go ahead and get to work. Sean is going to finish the putting together the poultry pen. Bailey is working here. Natalie actually got a job, so she's at work today. And let's see. Where did Maverick go? Oh, he's taking a little nap. There he is. Um, and I'm going to get working on finishing my tomato plants. So we'll let you know what else we get into today. are here taking a nap they're just hanging out there we still have to find a permanent home for this um, uh, camp chef propane uh, what do you call that <laughs> stove um, because I don't it's not gonna live on the front porch um, and the ladder is there because Bailey was cleaning up so I am going to be working over here I still you guys are gonna roll your eyes at me, but I still have all of this to work on. And what I just did, and it's probably not a good idea, but what are you gonna do? Um, these are little onion tops that I planted, I think a week ago. Those were onions that I got from my CSA. And so we cut off the onions, um, the, um, what are they called? Uh, the green onion, the, I don't know if there's another name for it, but it's the green onions. And we used all of the tops for our pho that we had. And I brought the, the roots out here and planted them and you can see they're already starting to grow. So that's nice. And then I bought 
these <laughs> I bought these uh this package of strawberry crowns at Walmart the other day because they were on clearance and I thought oh well I'll give it a shot I know it's later than usual to plant so I don't know will they even grow I don't know but I planted them in here anyways um, I know this is not the ideal spot but I what, really didn't know what I was going to put in here after I made this bed so I thought I'll just throw them in there um, and then I did these all of these we had a storm we had a couple storms a few days ago and all of these kind of fell over and stuff and there's still some really good plants in there but um, and I'm going to pick through them and try to figure out what to do with them but I just planted four of them down there four of the good looking ones um, because again I didn't know what to do with them and this they may not grow there because this doesn't get a ton of shade I mean a ton of sun but they were doing well even tipped over here on the ground this set had the um, plastic tray underneath so they did not fall over so they look really good I got to figure out where I'm gonna put those because these are all of my extra tomato plants that I just have no spot for and so I came over here and I inspected my garden area over here and the nice thing is that ever since I planted these we have not seen any wildlife out here I've not seen any deer or anything over here so I don't know we might might be lucky I mean there's no fruit so maybe once the fruit starts growing they'll start coming but for now everything here is growing pretty well these are those one tomatoes and I went through and I pinched off the bottoms I need to go get some tomato cages for them because they are leaning over this one is like you can kind of see there's the there's the root and it's just it's it's growing down I need to stake that guy up because it's a pretty big one and it's the only one now I, I take that back there's one other I saw but it's actually got some flowers on it so I'm excited about that and then my um, bush lake bush beans that I planted those have started to grow in here I need to water this because we had rain two days ago but nothing since then so I'm gonna get out here and water these my tomatoes that I planted in here are doing pretty well I need to pinch off the bottoms of those too so I'll do that and then these that I planted in here are doing really well. So I got to prune those. But this, all of this is just totally overgrown. And it's going to be one of those things Sean will get out here and he'll get the weed eater and stuff. I, um, I think I'm going to use this. I know this looks totally terrible right now. But again, once we get out here with the weed eater and clean it up, it'll look better. But I think I'm going to leave that wheelbarrow right there. And I'm going to plant a couple of those tomato plants in there because why not right it's another planter so that's what I'm gonna work on now I started I started um, pinching the tops or the bottoms um, the suckers off of these again because they've just kind of shot up so I'm gonna work on that and then get the hose down here so I can get this area some water so that's what I'm getting to work on two tomato plants um, I'm lucky like I said I did a terrible job of labeling my tomato plants but I know that that one is a Roma tomato because the pick was in the cup so that is a Roma tomato plant I don't know what kind this is I just kind of made this like a giant salad bowl so what I planted oops sorry I'm stuck on this fence let me fix hang on okay that's better um, over here on this side I planted some of the bunching onions I planted some carrots kind of in the middle here and then I planted lettuce over here I don't know if it's too late to plant lettuce because I know that they prefer the cold but we'll try it anyways and it was just a salad bowl mix from MI Gardener so if it all works out I'll have onions carrots lettuce and tomatoes in this giant salad bowl and I am definitely going to get 
tomato cages because some of my plants really, really need it. And I'm getting stuck in between here. This is not gonna be the permanent spot for this dog cage, but it is for right now, just because, just because it is. Um, because look at this one right here. It wasn't leaning over a few minutes ago, but now it's leaning over. So I need to get some cages for some of them. Like I said, some of them are worse off than others. And then these tower things that I had on the porch, um, Harley jumped up on it and knocked all of them off except the bottom tier and they were kind of there in the grass and then Sean backed over the other ones. <laughs> so that was the end of that but the one that he knocked over or Harley knocked over was not the one that I had all of my growth in. So there's some time at the bottom there. I think this is lemon balm right here and then let me see let me turn it because there is some growth there. I didn't label that one, so I don't know what that is. I'm guessing it's lemon balm also. Yeah, lemon balm. So I did, I think I did three lemon balm and then this one. That is thyme. But this one still has the growth in it. It needs to be watered. I have some cilantro growing here. Some of that oregano is still going good. The parsley is good. So look at my cilantro. So I need to water this one and it'll just have to live here on the side. Just had to show you how he's sleeping. Got his head rested over that. Oh. <laughs> and then where's his sister? Oh, there she is. working on planting out of my out of my um, wheelbarrow and I have some followers let's see if they can make it down the steps they're not very good at walking so I don't hold out much hope that they don't tumble come over here puppies over here over here come down the steps come down there good girl good girl good girl Harley of course Mav's gonna off-road it you made it good job all right, now you can't eat any of my plants. Okay, so I put it. I put two of these tomato plants in the wheelbarrow, and I went up and I grabbed the one that I planted in that planter, my salad bowl planter, because it was a Roma tomato. No, out of there, Harley. Harley, out. It was a Roma tomato, and I found one that was a cherry tomato that I wanted to have in that planter instead. So I grabbed the Roma tomato, and I put the red, it was a large red cherry tomato plant up in that planter. So I just have these two tomato plants here and I'm gonna grow, I'm gonna put in some Utah tall celery here. And the puppies are exploring over here. Sean is down there mowing. I don't know if you can see him. He's down there mowing by that tree. That tree's eventually gonna come out because they just butchered it. But. I got some friends down here while I'm planting. Do a little exploring. So this is what they do with their water. They get in it like Maverick is doing and they splash around. We just gave them fresh water and they just want to get in it. So I think that's why we need to get them a little baby pool. To try that. Hey, hey, Harley, no, no, Harley. <laughs> and then they splash all of it out. Harley, no, no, Harley. <laughs> and I guess now it's playtime. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> So this has kept us entertained for the last couple days, just watching them play together. Harley just ate the rest of Maverick's food.
there's no more. All right, so I brought you down here to my freeze dryer. I, it is almost done with the cycle. You can kind of see there's just a little bit left. And I have, the top row is some lemon slices. These two middle rows is watermelon slices. And then these two bottom rows are apple slices. So this is a fruit load and I'm excited to try these. I've heard people say watermelon, actually all of them. People have said all of them are really good. The lemon slices are great like to add to a drink or something like that. Or you could even take the whole thing and powder it and then you'd have powder for making lemonade or whatever. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with the lemon slices. I'll probably keep them as slices. I have more lemons um, upstairs that I haven't really decided exactly what I'm gonna do with them, but they are gonna go in the freeze dryer in some form, whether it's slices or juice or I don't know what. So this should be done and I'll show you what it looks like when I take them out. this mat the other day at tractor supply I think it's meant for like horses stables but it's pretty heavy duty I think we're gonna go and get one more we, we toyed with the idea of getting four total um, but they're like $50 a piece and four would be overkill for this this um, kennel but what we're gonna it's not really kennel but this cage what we're gonna do is get one more and put it down underneath the igloo and in here and see if they because it's, it's fine right now, but it's not raining, it's not muddy out here. So we may end up getting two more and having it run under the length of the whole um, pen, but for right now, I think we're just gonna get one more. And I was trying to figure out what to do with the rest of those tomato plants, and I remembered that I bought this little planter, this little tiered planter at Aldi the other day. So I went ahead and planted six of them. I ran out of soil, so I need to get one more bag of soil to plant the top one, but I put those tomatoes in there. I figured why not? Those were extra tomato plants anyways. So I'm gonna go pick out one more from my um, selection of extras and see which one I wanna put in that third one. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to leave. I have to go into town and run a few errands, get a few things, and then I have to pick up Natalie from work. So. Depending on what time I get back, I may or may not video any more today. My chicken, let me take you inside. The chicken that I was canning is finished, so it's out on the counter cooling. So, I still have the fans going. It's, it's pretty warm today. We'll probably turn the air on when we get home. So I got four quarts of chicken, and so they're out. And but I think when I get home from running the errands and picking up Natalie, my broth will be ready to start canning. So that's gonna be my job when I get home. If, like I said, if I don't video anymore today, I will video tomorrow and let you know what we get into. All right. Hey there guys, it is uh, eight o'clock. We just got done with dinner and doing dishes and I'm hot. So I came out here to kind of cool off. I'm out here on the porch. I'm gonna turn this camera around so you can see this beautiful sunset. So there it is. The view will get better when we take out that tree, but for right now, it's still pretty awesome. Pretty colors. It's nice and quiet out here. And the puppies are just playing over there. At least there's, there's Maverick playing over there with the bone. And Harley is kind of sleeping over there. Just chilling. Sean's out here now with Coco. We'll see how she does. She doesn't really like the puppy, so we'll see. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to do that. And I'm gonna wrap up this video for today. We will let you know what we get into tomorrow, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.